In today's generation, everyone is their own photographer. And it's a splurge, but it's well worth it. Totally would do it again. Penny Dolberg purchased her DSLR camera only a few months ago. She wanted to capture her family's life in motion in a spring break road trip they took across the country. We wanted to get great pictures of the Grand Canyon. and Getting these great photos didn't cost her much, only $800, proving she didn't need a professional photographer. She could take these great photos herself. Other amateur photographers feel the same way. Why pay the money when you can do it that way? It's easier and it's more cost effective. Bonnie Scott is a new scrapbooker who uses her iPhone to snap candid moments of her two-year-old son. Snap, snap, two, two seconds, it's over. Moments more valuable than what she could get in a studio. I don't think a studio can get those moments, you know, when he's chucking the food across the table or, you know, making these faces because the peas taste nasty. Lean your foreheads in together. It's more and more that you know, everybody is shooting, everybody can take a quick snapshot with their iPhone. Lori Nordstrom has been a photographer for 15 years. Since then, a lot has changed. Nobody's printing anything anymore. She says people would rather take their digital images and put them directly on social media sites. Signs up as a screensaver on Facebook. You know, th those things are great for the moment, and the moment is important. But what's even more important are heirlooms and memories and things that we can have forever. And we're losing that with digital. It's great, you guys. Nordstrom says she knows photographers who won't or can't keep up with the digital age will have to throw in the towel. And it's unfortunate because there are a lot of talented people out there that really have something valuable to give, but you know, they're, they're shutting down. While some businesses are shutting down, other photography-based businesses are seeing this as an opportunity for growth. What I like about digital scrapbooking is that I feel that it's brought a different clientele to the hobby. Johnson opened up memory bound scrapbooking in Ankeny in 2001. At that time, scrapbooking was just getting started and now they're turning a new page. So those customers that um, okay. are really good at operating computers and want to see how they can create like their masterpieces digitally. And we wouldn't have gotten those customers in here had it not been for the digital world. Okay, way cute. I love it. They say a picture is worth a thousand words. Now, just the way we view that picture will be a little different. Now, I think that photography is not going to die. Photography is here forever and ever. It's going to get better and better. And it's the rookies like Penny Dolberg who are already setting the trend.